This project is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is one of the most experienced PCB manufacturing company in China in field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They provide completed PCB assembly service with worldwide free shipping and ISO 9001 quality control system. Also, on their site there is an online Gerber viewer where you can upload your Gerber and drill files to render your board. So, if you want to make a PCB for your electronic project, PCBWay is a great choice for you. Visit their website and www.pcbway.com for more services. Hello, this game is based on the Cyclone arcade game where the player tries to stop and let scrolling around a circle at a specific spot. In, in one of my previous videos, I presented you the same game, but on a large ring consists of 60 less, which contains several levels. This time I use a small ring with 12 leads, and the game does not contain levels, but it is a continuous game until once uh, the target uh, marker is not hit. In addition, there is an LCD display that shows uh, high score and a current round. The code was taken, taken from uh, Jorn Wizzy's GitHub page and I made some modifications. First, I shortened the way of testing the LEDs and then added a different sounds for each segment of the game so that it's now much more interesting. The device is very simple to build and consists only a few components. Arduino Nano microcontroller. Next, 12 LED ring with WS2812 LED chips. Uh, 16 on 2 LCD display with I2C communication protocol. Two buttons. And buzzer. As for the gameplay, as I mentioned before, in this case, there are no levels with increasing speed, but each successive uh, round starts with a randomized speed and generally the speeds can be easily changed in the code uh, in given lines. Now let's see how the device works in reality. When turning on the game, all LEDs light up uh, sequentially accompanied by an appropriate sound effect and corresponding message about the test on the LCD display. Next, by pressing the button, the game starts. The goal is to press the button at the moment when the rotating diode is located exactly uh, on the static diodes. In the first three levels, three diodes are static, and in the next levels, only one. Uh, the number of rounds completed and the score are, showed, are shown on the LCD display. If you fail to hit the red LED, the game ends and high score appears on the display. We start a new game by pressing the start button again. The following is a brief description of how the device is made. 